Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to Exit the Gungeon. There is a big update, gang. It's called the Hello to Arms update. Not to be confused with Edit the Gungeon's final patch. Uh, farewell to arms. And this changes uh, some very core components of the game. I did do one test run of this to make sure everything worked out okay because it is on the beta branch. So it, there, if there's any bugs or anything, don't freak out, don't worry, it's being tested. But one of the major things is right here, it's called Arsenal Mode, it's a mode I'm never going to turn off. Uh, effectively, the main game, you play your gun switches every few seconds. With this mode, that still does happen, but you can also get gun drops that function more similarly to the base Enter the Gungeon game, as in they will not change so you have the one randomized gun you could consider that your starter gun that you can switch to at any time or you could switch over to other guns that you picked up as long as they have ammo in them kind of like the traditional enter the gungeon system and i love it i think it is a great change i'm very excited to show it off here uh the other thing is that's major is that shops now also have two to three alternate paths you can go in inside them so you can explore a little bit more potentially get more items giving you a little bit more choice a little bit more ways to potentially generate uh weapons and items especially is going to be useful since you know there's weapon drops now it's a whole nother subcategory that you may have to worry about i don't know really what path i'm looking for here let's go for sure let's go for the bullets we're playing as the pilot if you don't know which character this is this is the pilot <laughs> we just got a costume on well, let's pop on in. We got our mode that we're never going to turn off. Because, quite frankly, it's truly great. It's really, uh, the left mode is kind of, I want this to feel like an arcade game. And the right mode is effectively, I want this to feel a little bit more like a like a roguelike. And that really does seem to be what this uh, this update is going for. And from the one one round I played, I feel like it's uh, it, it's achieved. I'm very excited. I think it can breathe breathe a lot of new life into the game, and I'm very excited about that. Because you can... Uh, one of the issues about the game in the past is you would get a randomized gun, and maybe you'd get a really, really good passive that would go with it, but you'd, you'd, you'd only get the really cool gun combo with that passive for, like, you know, three seconds, <laughs> and then it's on to the next... By having all those guns, you effectively had none of those guns. And this, you have that, but like I said, if we get a gun drop, if we buy a gun, uh, then you will be able to, like, there'll probably be, yeah, there's the wood beam and the blunderbuss, neither of which are, actually, the blunderbuss is okay in Exit the Gungeon, I think. Uh, but, so if we bought these, they would go down here, we could switch between them with control, or whatever button you would use on your controller in Enter the Gungeon, uh, and then you could switch between those at any, at any time. And you can, you can get more than even those two. There's also, you see this door right here that we know that that one's an NPC. Hello. Who treads upon my precipice solitary life? It's the best. Since you seem to feel the same, take this. A gun would be cool. Honestly, I am not going to complain about the gold ammo lid either, though, to be honest. Extra, uh, we do big damage whenever we, whenever we blank. If this is your first time seeing Exit the Gungeon, I'll... Try to explain some basics here a little bit. I, uh, most of it, you know, I, I would recommend probably checking out my original Exit the Gungeon series, or at least the uh, the Steam release of the Exit the Gungeon uh, series, which I'll have linked in the uh, in the description below there, because we did we played this a decent amount. I, I can't remember exactly quite how many episodes we did, but we did a fair amount. But then. Honestly, I was kind of just waiting for an update exactly like this. Cold 45. So there we go. We can now switch at a whim. So this is still going to, to uh, randomly switch around. But if we ever get a gun that we don't want to use, or if we get just a good synergy with this, we can, uh, we can switch over. We do have to be careful with the ammo of it. And honestly, the Cold 45 is it's not a great gun in this, but it's still going to be better than some of the options. Just, and uh, another thing that has been changed as well that I like a lot. If we don't buy something, we actually will get the option at the end of this floor to come back to the shop. Which is, it goes a really long way to make it so you have a little bit more control over what your run looks like. Which is another thing that I think does a really good job of pushing it closer towards the, uh, the roguelike uh, side of things instead of the arcade side of things. 
Oh. But, alas, alas. Here we go. See, we got the uh, the gun right there. The ammo is in the bottom right. We run out. It's not gone. We just need to uh, purchase ammo, like, in the shop or something. And you can see above our head, it said Vulcan Cannon. We do... It does still tell us what we have with the other slot. So we can be, uh, we can be tactical with it. And I actually... I honestly, I, th I feel like they handled the criticism of that system in a really elegant way. Because if you enjoyed it the old way, you can totally play the game the exact same way. And honestly, it's a I feel like it's a really good compromise between keeping the game the same at its core while still adding a little bit of uh, the extra Enter the Gungeon pieces. Ooh, fighting this guy here seems a little bit stinky. I mean, we'll probably just mostly stay up at the top here if I can help it. Oh my goodness. There's apparently been some other <laughs> other changes, other balance changes. That was not a good dodge. I'm. I, it's been a while, gang. But like, imagine you get the, the sling or something. I'm sure you could get the Matrix Cannon, although, you know... Like an end of the gungeon, it, it's good, but it does not have a ton of uh, ooh, ammo capacity. So, you can have different guns for different occasions. And right now, I'm not feeling like the cold 45 is the one to use, because we keep getting some bangers. Oh, boy. See, there we go. And this is how we can go back to the shop. In fact, I don't even know if you can move on until you do. And if there was a uh, an NPC shop that you wanted, you can indeed go back into that as well. All right. Ammo. I mean, I could buy the wood beam. <laughs> I don't think that it's a good idea. Like, it, I actively kind of think it's a bad idea. I mean, you know, I'm going to buy the alpha bullet because this is, a, this is the thing. We could actually build a run now. That, like, let me, let me make that clear. That's one of the biggest, that's one of the biggest takeaways. You can build a run now. It's not just an arcade game that happens. You know, like, you're not on a, on a, uh, a track path. I mean, you are, but you have options now in where you go and how long you want to play. Uh, the runs will, I, 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 I don't know. My, my last run was de a decent bit longer. A decent bit longer. It didn't quite breach 45 minutes or something, I don't think. So, it's still got that slightly more compact vibe, and you could skip a lot of the extra extra stuff if you didn't really want to, to go to the extra rooms. You could still make a quicker run. Got the fight saber on the other hand. You, you better believe we're going to that. Uh, but you can build a run. We have alpha bullets, which makes it so our final shot in our clip does bonus damage. We might be able to actually buy a gun that synergizes with that and build something. Yeah, the bullets, explosive rounds, you know I wanna. Just a bunch of stools down. <laughs> a bunch of stools down here. Okay. There's also some changes to, uh, I believe, how you discover NPCs. Uh, first of all, like, you clearly will just discover them more often just by the fact that they're all over the place in the shops, you know? Like, you'll probably see them. Yeah, I, don't, I don't even know. If, can you see them in the. Uh, normal path anymore they might have changed it entirely if they did i i do like this way yeah, we'll, we'll see but it seems like uh unlocking npcs it was kind of it took a long time to get the last few and it seemed like it was due to like certain unlocks being required and they they've changed that so it shouldn't be quite so involved to to get the last few npcs which i am for since it was kind of like a it was kind of like a cryptic requirement that didn't feel too uh, necessarily too natural, so I'm totally fine with it being uh, being tweaked. I think we like finally got the last NPC. It took us like I don't know, twenty some episodes or something. But anyway, hey, if you're new here, hi. I'm gonna take a moment to speak to you directly. Everybody else, pretend you don't know me. Hello, it's me. I'm Retromation. <laughs> I put out videos on Roguelike some more every single day. I have over a thousand one. Hundred? Oh dear God! I, I think over a thousand one hundred videos on Enter the Gungeon. I uh, been playing, it, playing it basically since two weeks before the game came out on my channel. But I every single day I put out videos on Roguelike and more. If you're interested in this one, if you like it, if you think I'm, you know, 
the video is okay. You don't have to do it now. Keep it, keep it in mind for the end of the video if you enjoyed it. You can press the like button and it helps share the video with other people. Ooh, boy. So if you like the game or you like me, doing that helps both of us because liking it shares me with people who like the game and shares like the game with people who like me. So it's a it's a win-win if you like either or both of us. But that's going to do it. You can consider subscribing. They, like I said, daily roguelike videos. And the plug is over. Welcome back to more Eggs of the Gungeon. I ain't going to buy squat. I want to save it up to potentially buy guns. We have the Screecher now. So the way it works, you can pick over here. Like, we can't auto-select this one and this one and switch between them. This is always there to switch back to automatically. And I, I like that. I think that's important. Is Screecher good in Exit? I feel like it's not. Tangler. But I feel like uh, there's definitely some clever strategizing that you can do now. Like, when do I want to be using my ammo? When do I want to be using the randomized gun? You just, there's some snap moment-to-moment -moment thinking you can do with that. Like, I, I saw that the hammer was our option there. And obviously the banana's very good. So I know that it's probably not worth it to use my ammo and my other guns. Even if I do think they're pretty decent. There's also been uh, some balance changes, apparently, to guns. So I don't know if there's maybe some that were absolute garbage that are better now. Like, I, I feel like I remember not liking the Cold 45. As much as I love Casey and Anther, I do not really love it in Exit. Though, yeah, it's just it's just not that good in this. Blap! But all in all, like from the, I played one run and then the uh, the brief run that I'm playing right now. Honestly, I'm I'm really really pleased with all of the changes. I uh, like I'm so excited to be playing it again. But I honestly like yeah I just I wanted some extra changes before I wanted to come back there. Oop, we got the screecher. Oh my God, we got hit by the buffamo. We got we I, I think we legally have to cancel the series now. I think we legally have to cancel the series. Is the freeze rate good? Good or bad? I don't remember. I don't think... We can't really freeze the boss. And can't really. I mean, we literally cannot. Commando, let's switch back to that sucker. But yeah. Truly, I, I, I would say... And, and this is what I said many times. I was like... All the issues I had, like, I kind of just... I kind of just knew they would be fixed. There's... That's the kind of, whoa, one of the really nice things about dodge roll. You know, if they're involved, you know, if there's anything that feels like it's off, you you know they're going to hit the nail on the head and uh, cut it right out in, in a, an update or so. And then they're going to give you stuff you didn't know you wanted. Uh, Gilded Bullets seems like a way to go. There's also a jukebox here. You can just change the uh, the soundtrack. I don't really feel the need to do that. TBQH. Boom, boom, boom. So there's three shots in this clip. So we can't, I don't know, hmm. We can't abuse that one with, with Alpha Bullets if we even get that as an option. But it's just exciting to think we could, you know, like there's obviously, I, I think is, Remote Bullets is in this, right? Obviously not all the items from Enter are. But, uh, you know, like, Remote Bullets Crown of Guns is something you could just have in this. And there's, that's kind of, like, always been uh, one of my favorite parts about roguelikes in general. Not even just Enter the Gungeon, just combos. Combos, synergies, that's what people are, uh, are after a lot of the times in these games. They want to see how they, the systems interact and how they can interact in weird, fun ways. Whoop. But honestly, just... I, I couldn't think like of a better way to, to capture the spirit of the game still while uh, giving the people what they wanted here. By just literally throwing it on the starter gun. Ooh, Thunderclap looks a little different. Just a little bit. Spiked boots. Are these the one where we can jump on people's heads? I think it is. If I remember correctly, it was super busted OP. I think it might have been. 
like I think you can literally bounce off their heads and stay almost invincible. Could you imagine? Uh, okay, like Skull Spitter is actually top tier in this game. Skull Spitter, Bundle of Wands, they're actually 100% top tier. If we could get those as a non-blessed gun. Hammer. Hammer's good in this. Hey, I'll take that. Also, the uh, the hammer that comes out at the end is going to be affected by alpha bullets. So, or does it even do that? I know I'm wasting a shot here. It does. Okay, so that hammer is going to be affected by alpha bullets. That's pretty slick. Hello, mister. So we're going to have to really make sure we don't uh, we don't bungle that. Oh. 13. I'm trying to... I want to see if it truly is really good. Death. Eh. What? Right, we're at the final shot. Hold on. <laughs> uh, all that time. You know what? Serious cannon is going to be very, very good. Serious cannon in this is is totally strong and ridiculous already. But now with the alpha bullets. Every shot is the final shot in the clip, so every shot's going to be doing uh, the extra. I don't. I think it's. I think it's a hundred in this. I think it's an extra hundred percent damage. Could be wrong. But yeah, just having a, a gun that you can actually get attached to really does it all for me. Ooh, play well, get money. Did we get gilded bullets? We did. Ooh, ooh. Hacha cha. This is looking very nice. We are creating a nice run. A nice run isn't just happening to us. The, ooh. Vertebrae K, though. It's 250. They they know it's good in this. That's interesting. They didn't, it's, it seems like it got a tier upgrade, maybe. Because it's... It? Like, that's expensive. Whoop. But like now, now I feel like it'd be a natural idea to uh, to eventually, at some point, maybe, whoop, maybe in another update, come back and uh, apply some some of the synergies that are in in Enter. Now that it makes a little bit more sense, and you can like actually pick <laughs> stuff. It's way more relevant. Whoop! Chuck and pull up. Hate. Shotgun full of hate. I don't know if the guns are diff like different strengths when they're randomized or not. I ain't sure. Oh my god. This is getting that bonus damage life. Look at that go. Thanks. Thanks. Tanks. Uh oh. Uh oh. Gonna be something. Fight saber. I saw you. I see you, fight saber. Oh boy. We in there. Age bell. Honestly, I kind of want to avoid it. Oh boy. Switch back to this. I don't really feel like using proton backpack. Siren. See, look at that. Look at that. Strategy on the flight. God, oh, son of a goblin, man. Strategy on the fly. Heck. So close, though. So close. Bouncy bullets. Sure. Temporary. Dog. Hello, dog. You can pet the dog now as well. This has also been a... The game got a huge buff in that regard. You can now pet the dog. I mean, we got it, right? Bonk power activate. I'm pretty sure that that's what that is, right? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We got all kinds of unlocks. Just a bunch of hats. Hat. 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 Oh, robot. Hat. 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 <laughs> uh, bonk power. Okay. I'm not even sure. That's what it is, then. It's, I'm pretty sure it's the jump on the head to do damage. As long as you're in the air, you're invincible, so, I mean. That's, yep. That's what it is. It's, a, it's you know, it can be a little bit finicky. It can be a little bit finicky, so we'll want to use it sparingly. Boop, boop. But as you bounce on the head, 
you actually can shoot for the brief moment that you're actually on the top of their head. It's crazy. It's it's crazy. It can be really, really busted. See, like, look at this. Ah, yeah. But you have to be prepared for it to go away. It can all go downhill. But you can use it really, really, really well. Like, right, right there. We... Honestly, we were not in peril at all. Should have been bonking. SBB. Should be bonking. Oh. Oh, my God. The physics on that one. Oh, hello. Okay. Shoot me literally the second you exist. Why not? Sure. Sure. What do you got? Ooh, Space Friend is not a bad call. Flying Disc? I don't know. Is it a one-shot? Is it a one-clip kind of a situation? Because that could be good. Oh, hi. Would you like a free brain injection? Yes. Oh, my God. All better. Bye now. I don't think I've seen them before. I think we that was like one of the last things we unlocked when we were playing. It would have been better to definitely leave that there. I I really should have like tactically saved it. It's a full heal. D-pad? Honestly, it's just fun. It's fun to see this creature in action. It's, it's different in this game, and I feel like it is quite a bit better. Whoop. The fire rate's been adjusted on a lot of guns. Whoop. You know... It's... It's... It's fine. We can we can work with it. I ain't mad. What is our money at now? I, I'm so tempted. Because it's actually a gun in this. We'll see. It it might be 78 out of 70. It may never get the damage up. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Ah, see, that's what I'm saying. It, it's it's so fun, but it's one of those things where it gets you in danger if you rely on it too hard. I don't know. This is working. Oh, my God. Where the hell even was I? I was up in the upper left somehow. See, you can, I love these boots, though. As crazy as they are. I love... Oh, my God. The ridiculous trick shots you can pull off. Gotta be ready, though. As soon as it goes away, you're... But toast. Okay. Pop. Uh-oh. Uh... We're gonna run out of ammo of it with it soon too, though, right? Rupa! Gaming! Can you bounce off bosses? <sighs> oh my god. I wait, I could for a second. Oh my god. Okay, we got a good gun on their other shot there. boy oh boy okay e oh ah hey crown of guns this could be crazy oh boy what do we have is our other gun skull spitter bring it back, bring it back now y'all Focus up, focus up, focus up. Mahogany is Duke garbage. Oh, boy. One, two. 
Hey, hey, I blanked it so in such a bad way there. Holy crap, I cannot believe we actually perfected that fight in the end. Oh, mama. Riddle of lead. Boy, thank you. I feel like I deserve it. All stats up. I feel like I deserve it. I'm going to save our money because we actually do bonus damage if we do. Because of the uh, gilded, gilded hydra. Gilded bullets. Okay, final zone. Final zone. Oh, but yeah, it seems like uh, runs can actually have, you know, pretty varied lengths now. Because yeah, I think I had like a, it was like 40, 40 minutes or something run. And in the past, I think I had like, a, what was my average run like? It was 20, mid 20 or something like that, I think. Kind of pulling that straight out of my rear. But they also changed, like, if you're starting to kill enemies really, really quickly, they made it so they start spawning. Like, the game doesn't waste your time anymore. Like, uh, it's not like every 10 seconds an enemy spawns. It's if you kill an enemy, then the next wave will start spawning. Uh, or if you kill all the enemies. Which is nice. Clone, I don't think we can afford it. And I don't know if we should. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see if it's if it's a if it's an option. Today we will actually have the ability to, I think. For the break A, definitely switch back. But yeah, I like just uh keep keeping it in the back of your mind, seeing what the uh what it says above your head and then just switching accordingly. Yeah, we're we're out of everything else. We need to go and actually make some purchases in ammo. Whoop, in the ammo area. But we've been holding off because I kind of want to make sure, uh, make sure we actually, oh, ooh. So I want to make sure that we actually got the extra damage from Gilded Bullets, but hey, we should definitely show off that feature. I was actually kind of, sorry for saying that <laughs> actually so many times. Ah, uh, no, but clone, but clone. Vulcan Cannon. Oh, oh my god, this is tough. Oh, this is tough. If we don't get enough for clone, we'll buy one of those. If we don't get enough for clone, we'll buy one of those. I'll admit I'm super tempted to get explosive rounds. Uh, the Vulcan Cannon is not an ag it's not a new gun, but it feels kind of new in a way. Just since, um, literally just since ooh, it has different sprites. I wonder if the amp does extra damage since it's kind of our final, it's the final shot in our clip via alpha bullets. But just uh, being able to use the same gun for an extended period of time, it feels really nice to, you know, actually get used to a weapon and how it interacts with the current stuff you have. Hey, I'll take it. 324? I think clone is almost certainly going to be feasible. <laughs> 384. I I would honestly be kind of surprised if we couldn't afford it. I'd be lying if I, you know, didn't say I uh, I do prefer my, my runs not with clone, which is, I know, it's sacrilege. But it's like, I kind of like each run to really feel like its own thing. But uh, for today, for today, we can definitely, definitely see what that would look like. If we get enough, which I think we will. We're already almost there. 370. And that can show you as well what the whole new shop system can do for you. 383, is that... Did we did it? Did we done dude it? Give me infinite bundle of wands, and I am like... I'm in it, man. This is gonna go bad. If, if that guy dies... Well, we have nowhere to stand afterwards. Oh boy, we just fall into the pit. Use him as just ah! <laughs> Use him as a little bouncy pad. We do have the uh, ambulator pit lord, but it's on cooldown now, so we didn't take damage by falling into the pit. That doesn't mean we won't. Oh, like, comment, and subscribe. Nice, we did it. Right, <laughs> we did it. 
Oh, you, you couldn't have taken me down to uh, the other one. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna kill ourselves. <laughs> Let's go. I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna have to let the dragon kill me, huh? Clone, if you don't know, it brings us back to the beginning with all of our items to have a, a, a almost a victory. Come on, dragon. Do me in quick. Here's the thing. It's definitely less annoying since they made the change where uh, as soon as enemies are dead, the next wave spawns. Kill me. Ow. Why does everybody think this Retromation guy is so good? Look at how many times he got hit in the dragon fight. Nobody, joke's on you. Nobody thinks I'm good. Oh, oh, oh. self burn. Come on. Put me and my chicken friend out of our out of our misery. Particulator. What if it what if the particulator just one shot him? That'd be great. Oh, I might get him. Watch out, Mr. Dragon. I might get you, Mr. Dragon. I still can't even see the Oh my oh. We're starting to get through the health now. I bought clone, right? Otherwise, I'm gonna have to real be a real gamester right now. Okay. Hopefully, clone works. It does. Here we are back at. So, hello everybody. Welcome or welcome back to more uh, Exit the Gunja. They just released a new update uh, on the Beta Branch. I didn't even. I, I guess you know what I should mention that uh, it, you can play the Beta Branch yourself as long as you own the game on Steam. I don't know if there's a way to. Uh, I don't think that there's a way to test it on anything else yet, but I, I'm sure that it won't take too long for it to come to other things. They just want to make sure, especially since there's a lot of really major changes in here, they just want to make sure that it's all all nice and clear and clean and not broken <laughs> before it's released in other other locations. You know, so it makes it makes sense. Yep. Pop. Okay, I thought we bugged for a second. <laughs> but yeah, you just go to Steam, you go to do the uh, right click, right click it in your library, hit properties. Uh, ooh. Uh, and then go to the betas tab, and then click the little drop down and do hello to arms. If this update is already out, ignore what I'm saying. Obviously, I ain't talking to you, because the update would be already out. Don't worry about it. Okay. We could have just the regular combined rifle. The mass shotgun. Oh my god, the damage is. Oh my god, the damage is great. Please, mass shotgun. Mass shotgun. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. What do you got? Oh, hello. No. Oh, there's actual strategy to this guy now, right? So basically, I can go in now and talk to him, or I can wait until I have 20. He gives you a reward based off of how high of a level you're at for your combo meter, which you get by not taking damage and killing, yeah, basically, doing good and not doing bad. Shock off. I don't think that we're going to make it to 20, which is his, uh, his biggest payout. He does give you an item uh, unlock. If you do, uh, if you show him a 20 combo point modifier for the first time. But I'm just, I'm so glad, I'm so glad that we have Amulet of the Pit Lord right now. Otherwise that would be, uh, I would be getting a lot of timestamps in the comments section for that one. I'm well aware. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely banking on the fact, hopefully, that I can perfect the boss. I'm not sure exactly how the boss damage cap works in in exit compared to uh, to enter. I really don't know that guy. That guy just pulled a Rita right there. He just jumped in the pit. Timestamp. Can we get some timestamps in uh, in the comments section? Oh, for where the blob boy just killed himself. What do we have for guns? On this life, I think I'm gonna want to. What the hell? Where did I go? I bounced off his head, didn't I? I'm going to want to probably invest in a little bit of ammo. Gunzang. Switch back. You better believe it. Oop. 
don't really want to blank if I can help it because that it doesn't reset your combo anymore. Uh, it cuts your current combo progress from like 16 to 17 in half, effectively, which you know it's much less of a big deal. But I just I would rather not do it. There we go. Let's get our uh, our 17 rank item. God, I love that. See, look at all the just. It adds so much depth. Hey, 17 is pretty good for him. Good. I didn't know if it was like a Katamari Damacy thing where it's basically uh, either you got a perfect score or you've insulted basically everybody I've ever loved. Oh, Junkon. Junkon. He ranks up based off of your combo and we're at 17. But it's a very thematically appropriate uh, item to get from that situation. You know, I kind of want to fill up the disc. <laughs> Am I crazy? I don't know. It's, it, it was... I was having a good time with it. Does it get bonus the bonus from Alpha Bullets? I'm not sure. I don't know that... It's either... <laughs> it's either super good or very terrible with it, and I cannot tell which it would be. But look at it with... Oh my god, with Angry Bullets? We hit the enemy, and then it splits off into other shots there. I did not know it would do that with the shield, so... See, look at this. This is exactly what I'm talking about. This is possible now. We can actually have something that we're attached to. I'm I'm attached to the shield. We got Mecha Junkin. Two more ranks until we get the max rank Junkin. I'm attached to this. It's great. That's it. I mean, we shouldn't have just bought it without looking, but... Let's be honest, that's a buy without looking item. There's almost nothing in the game I would rather have. Especially now with the scatter, uh, scatter flak. Oh my god, gang. If you, uh, if you liked, liked but thought there was, um, there's just things that need to change about this game, I highly recommend coming back to test this out. And if, especially if you were like, I didn't really like the random gun mechanic, or I feel like they're just, uh, I didn't have much control over the runs. Absolutely come back. This is, this is, this is feeling great. It's night and day. I don't think I'm going to keep that ring of miserly protection. We could, we could. But I, I don't think I'm going to want to not buy anything. I'm assuming gilded bullets, the damage caps out at 500 casings like it, like it does in enter the gungeon. Please give me if we could have that as a uh, as a permanent gun. That'd be amazing. Oh my god, it just keeps going. Whoop, pop. It just keeps going. But yeah, like look at this. Look at this shield. Look at this shield. Two thirty four. Mm. Double check. What what would I get? I mean, the owl's great. I'll consider it. I'll consider it. I'll think about it. Whoop. Oh, my God. So that... Okay, so it switched over to our... Uh, our randomizer gun. Our, our blessed gun, if you will. That's probably the... Uh, best way to put it. Blessed is best. Casey. Oh, my God. See... In, uh, in Enter, Casey has extreme synergy with Alpha. In this, it looks like it has extreme dis-synergy. So, yikes. Because it was at, what, 999,999 out of infinity. Brick Breaker putting in some serious work. Deckard always slaps. What do we got for... Yeah, we only have... Honestly, Screecher's pretty hilarious right now as well, but... I think we're going to want to, uh, even if it means we'll lose a little bit of damage, I want to invest in a little bit of ammo. Because, yeah, look, we got we we got to use all our, uh, all our randomizer guns, which is not really an issue. Oh. Oh. Oh, baby. 
Oh, baby, a gold. Oh, God. I did not want to get stuck there. Please, I don't want to lose the meat bunny. Either. This is like... This is, su this is such a high-stakes situation. We got the double damage from the meat bun and a 20 combo and the uh, the boss HP pickup on the line. Okay. I was going to say, all of that on the line at the same time is pretty, pretty spiced. Pretty darn spiced. I'm, I'm, a, I'm really attached to my shield. Uh, like, it's... It's not a full new item because it's supposed to be, you know, the uh, Shield of the Maiden from Enter. But it is because it wasn't a gun in Enter. <laughs> it wasn't a gun. It was, uh, it was a very bad active shock rifle. What the ever-living hell. Look at that. Okay. Yeah, the whole enemy's starting to spawn as soon as we uh, we kill the other ones. Really goes a long way in making me... Uh, I'll probably... I'll consider clone in the future. I'll, I'll keep it in mind. Did we get hit? I don't think so. I'll keep it in mind, because it definitely makes this second run quite a bit quicker. Ah... Banana jam hands, though. Oh, banana jam hands, though. What is that? What does that do again? It makes it so... Does it make so your guns switch out... Your randomizer guns switch out quicker, but you also throw your guns at the end of the clip? I don't know if that... Once again, I don't know if this has extreme synergy or no synergy at all with Alpha Bullets right now. I don't know if every shot is procking it or no shot except for literally the last one is going to proc it. But it just feels like it's doing a lot of damage. So I, I'm having fun with it. Barrel! I love the barrel. I love the barrel as well. So, hmm. Ten shots in it. We'll play around with the barrel for a bit. Barrel of fish. I feel like it might be the meta to, um, go ahead, gotta adjust my, uh, audio. Might be the meta to use your randomizer gun in here. Oh my. Fishapalooza! Holy moly. It might be the meta to use your, uh, your standard randomizer gun in here. And just save your ammo for uh, more difficult situations. I feel like these rooms are often... Ooh. Fun. These rooms are often easier than the uh, the normal rooms. Especially as you get later in the game. Just double checking. Yeah, let's just get it. Let's just get it. I know we're, we keep on losing the damage from Gilded Bullets. But I'm just kind of fine with it. <sighs> of course. Hmm. Hmm. We're not throwing it. I think that it might just be with the randomizer gun. When we switch gun, when we, sw yeah, when we switch guns, it throws the gun. So that should have, in theory, that should have no effect on this, right? Oh my god, look it! It's just throwing it every once in a while! Holy crap! This is god tier, look. That's just- I'm not shooting. That's really good! That's really good! Oh man. Obviously, it puts the real random effect on the, uh, the, the main gun, but honestly, it might be like a must pickup. Might be like a must pick up. Uh, what the hell is happening? Membrane short. Got. What is happening? Where am I? 
we got the we got the flying disc as an oh my god i literally just fell on the box there oh what am I, what's going on the sound just go switching every two seconds that's what's going on that was crazy that was nuts back down to a four combo which i think just helps the guns you get be better i don't know what else do we get? The tentacle actually sucks in this, if I remember correctly. I'm gonna fill up the hammer. It's got a nice combo with the uh, with the alpha bullets. Quick uh, water break. Got to hydrate. Oh my god! Is it like we switch every time we kill an enemy and we're killing like two thousand enemies? Oh my god. It maybe should be changed. Honestly. That's crazy. It throws our gun every time the gun changes. Even if we're holding this one. Is that is that correct? Wow. <laughs> to be fair, normally you don't kill enemies this quickly. We're just unbelievably strong. You know we gotta. Normally don't kill him this quickly. In a normal run, we wouldn't have to obviously go through all of these extra rooms too. Especially, like, that could be an interesting way to do a clone run. Is just, as soon as we get it, we no longer go in the bonus rooms. Consider it our bonus rooms, you know what I'm saying? Whoop. This is, yeah, Banana Jam Hands is chaos. Chaos incarnate. Enraging Photograph, deal extra damage when we get hit. Not, eh, not super big on that. Getting hit. Ugh, what? Hello. D-pad, I don't know. <laughs> ah! Yeah, mass shotgun I think really would be probably the best thing right now. Because it definitely, definitely synergizes. 100%. Hmm. Cool. And by cool, I mean I don't really care, but thank you. Hello, random. Ah, Goopton! A man of goopy culture. Okay, we gotta come back and get the bouncy bullets. It's the law. It's the law. The judge actually does have a really fun combo with our stuff as well. I think it's very unlikely we get both. I think it's very unlikely that we get both. But who knows, maybe. Okay. Yeah, when we start killing enemies, we start throwing our gun out even more. So that just the rich get richer. Uh oh, dog hit the aged bell. I do not like the aged bell. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's gonna snap back into that hardcore rap. It's going to snap back into it at any moment here. There we go. Did indeed. I could not even begin to comprehend what uh, guns we have. <laughs> like, I just see the names flash up for mere moments. Did we use up the... Yeah, we used up the hammer. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'll stick with... Ooh, hello. Ah, oh, you can't cheese him. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Whoa! Ah! <laughs> oh my god, I'm kind of glad we don't have bouncy bullets in this as... Oh god, kind of glad we didn't have bouncy bullets at that point. 
I that's not gonna stop me from going to buy them. That was square here. It's certainly not gonna stop me from buying them. Doink. Membrane. Ooh, that sounds like absolute chaos. Maybe. What was the other thing to judge? <laughs> Let's do it. Absolute chaos it is. God, I love that we do get to actually pick our favorite between certain things. You know, you can hop between the shops. That's really, really, really nice. I cannot say enough how uh, how much this update has truly fixed a lot of issues that I had and a lot of issues I didn't know I had. It's it's really they did a fantastic job. They did a fantastic job. Big shout out to Dodge Roll and Single Core Games. Champions. Oh boy. I can't see anything. And that's okay. That was it. Next. I mean, I think we just wait and fill up. I mean, flight's not bad. Something about that. Oh. <laughs> I love it. Falling like a rock. <laughs> In, <laughs> into the stools at 100 miles an hour. Crunk. Crunk. I think we just clear out all of this here and then buy ammo. I think that is the, uh, that's the way. Here we go. Are we like, is Banana Jam Hands throwing multiple membranes too? Fight. Okay. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm glad we got it since we didn't buy it earlier. Oh boy. Oh boy. I hope we don't get shot at. I hope somebody doesn't look at me. That's great. Spaceship. We didn't buy that either, and now we got that back as well. Did we even check what was in here? This was... No, we didn't check. 70 bucks? Fine. I'm not even good at this. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. At least we got one. Okay, so we obviously did it too high. If we could get two for one by knocking this. No! Knocking that over. <laughs> the weirdest way of getting that, uh, I think, possible. Oh, you jerk. Out of shots. All right. I don't know. Do we get a, We get an item still. We don't just, just don't get the best one. <sighs> yeah. See, that's kind of like what happens. I was like, rip. R.I.P. We'll wait until after this phase. We should come back, right? Right? Wait. Wait. I don't remember. Did we already? Yeah, we'll come back. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I think we might be strong today. Welcome back to Exit the Gungeon. First run back, we get clone, and this happens. Thanks to the wonderful new system of actually, oh, I got hit. I actually got hit because I was spinning in a circle instead of focus firing. Fine, I'll focus fire. 
Thanks to the wonderful gun keeping mechanic. Oh. Mwah, chef's kiss. And save the rest of the, the money for damage from Gilded Bullets. Hell a yeah. Hell a yeah. All right. We're going to be done with this run now. We're going to be done. Please, oh, please. Dragon gives me clone. I want to release the game from this prison that I've created for it. I, like, honestly, I feel bad for the game. Look at this. Honestly, it's not the best gun for the fight, I guess. I guess? It doesn't really matter. Because he's off screen up there. We, like, it'd be nicer, it'd be better to have something that didn't have any charge up, but holy moly. Yeah, we definitely can see the boss, uh, boss damage cap in action here. Let's use the fish for a bit. I honestly feel like will be s stronger using something that takes up less of the screen real estate just for chaos reasons. It's Rito's uh, first law, the better the run, the worse you'll do. But often it r really uh, it goes hand in hand with Rito's second law, which is, whoop. Screen real estate's important. Chaos runs can make things messy. Whoop. You need to be able to see the screen to beat the game. That's Rito's second law. That, 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 that. We did it. I, I'm so shocked that we won that run. Shock and awe. Got all kinds of credits, too. And we are back, baby. Hello to arms. Whoop. Whamp. We can't pet you here? No. No! We could probably pet the dog in the ship, right? Not really. Oh, no. <sighs> I, you know, I thought it was a good update. Oh, I, I really thought it was good. I'm sorry, guys. You can't pet the dog here. You can only pet the dog in the gungeon. Ooh, yikes. How did they let that slip through? I'm in, I, honestly, I'm embarrassed that I uh, have ever played a, a gungeon game. All right. Well, any <laughs> jokes aside, what do we got? Uh, we got credits. To un you can unlock hats and costumes. I'll probably end up saving some, to be honest, just to buy costumes, skins. Ratskin Boots. I love that they got a slightly different song for the exit to the Gungeons that went to the Gungeon. Outro. It's really... I like the game. I like the game a lot. This update, truly, truly, I think if you were on the fence about the game or you felt weird about some aspects of it, I truly, truly think now is a, a really good time to... I mean, well, or you could just wait until the beta branch is done uh, to check out the game because honestly, like... I really, really like it. Hmm. We just played as who? The pilot. Let's get the Void Core costume for the Marine there. But, 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 two more skins and we got them all. But that is that, and that is going to do it for today. I greatly appreciate any and all support you wish to leave on the series up to this point. Since it's the first episode in an offshoot series for the, you know, for the Hello to Arms update. Likes and comments go a very long way in helping to show it to other people. Like I said near the beginning of the video, I was going to say in the middle, but they're in the middle of the first run. Uh, if you like the game, it helps show the game to people on my channel, which in turn helps the game. If you like me, it helps show me to people who like the game, which in turn helps me. So if you like one, uh, either me, the game, or both, liking and commenting is very, very helpful. And that is going to do it. Extra special thank you to Throbo, Nadalric, Justice, Tom, More Than Awesome, Semicolon, P, and Patricia for supporting on Patreon at the Go Team Gungeon tier, helping me do this full-time at a time where I could not otherwise. 
Links in the description for everything that matters and more. Consider subscribing for daily roguelike content. I put out a lot of Enter the Gungeon, Exit the Gungeon related stuff. And uh, hey, check out the Neon Abyss series. If you like Exit the Gungeon, that series is going on and it is slapping. Similar format, it's a uh, roguelike, I guess it's a twin stick platformer, action platformer roguelike. Kind of more uh, traditional dungeon crawler elements uh, than this, a little bit closer, weirdly a little bit closer to Enter the Gungeon's uh, formula, mixed with some Binding of Isaac-esque uh, stuff as well. But that's going to do it. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you. I'll see you next time. Bye.